In this video, I'll be showing how to remove the factory 3.5 center speaker and install a new Dayton Audio 3-inch center speaker in a 2022 Hyundai Elantra N. The first step will be to remove the plastic speaker cover located in the center of the dash. To remove the cover, use a plastic trim removal tool starting at the right corner closest to you. Begin prying up on the cover. There will be some resistance, but the piece should pop up fairly easily. Move around the cover, prying as you go. There are eight clips holding the cover in place. Five are actually retaining clips. There is a plug attached to the cover, but it does not need to be unplugged. Simply move the cover to the side. You will need to remove two screws holding the center speaker in place. Unplug the speaker's wiring harness located at the bottom right of the speaker, and then remove the speaker. For the new speaker, I chose to go with a Dayton Audio 3-inch 4-ohm speaker, model number RS75-4. I chose this speaker for its good reviews, specifications, and construction. It has an aluminum frame, aluminum cone, and rubber surround. Power handling is 15 watts RMS and 30 watts max. I didn't want a power-hungry speaker since I was going to be using the factory amplifier. The frequency response is 170 Hz to 20,000 kHz, and the sensitivity is 85 decibels. Currently, there isn't a specific mounting bracket or wiring harness sold for the Elantra's center speaker, but I found I was able to use Metra's GM tweeter bracket model number 82-3016. This kit was a perfect fit, and it allows for up to a 3-inch speaker to be installed by cutting the correct hole required for the speaker. In this case, I had to cut a two and a quarter inch hole. After cutting the hole, I used four small screws to mount the speaker to the bracket and the speaker was almost ready for installation. The final thing I needed to do before completing the install was to install a crossover to protect the speaker. I ended up using a SCAR Audio passive inline crossover. The crossover provided a crossover frequency of 300 hertz at four ohms. Since there isn't a wiring harness for the vehicle, I used wire taps instead. After installing the crossover, I was able to drop the speaker into the factory location, screw the two screws back in place, and then reinstall the speaker cover. I have a link to all items used in this installation in the description. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you.